praise the lord and welcome back to cynthia's legacy my name is cynthia i am a christian from nairobi kenya and this is a faith-based channel so i welcome you all if you're visiting for the first time we'll give you time to watch some few videos then you can decide to subscribe and become part of our community if you are a normal subscriber you are welcome welcome back to your favorite christian channel or we are all a victims of this both of us me and you we proceed based on our feelings and based on our thoughts based on our emotions and so most of the time actually the spirit tells you that you should not date someone you should not continue with a relationship but you still continue because of the way you feel about someone and at times there are manipulative things that makes you feel like you you love someone and you cannot let them go and yet god has given you all the signs to show you that it is time to pack and leave so in this video i'm going to highlight for us some of the uh, signs that we need to look out for in a relationship that is going on and maybe uh, it is you know it might lead to marriage you need to look for these signs just to know whether god is saying no don't go on with it stop it at that point so the first thing you need to look out for is when someone shows you their true colors do not ignore them one thing that people lie to themselves about is that i will change him or i will change her through my good characters through the way i treat her through the way I treat him. I might be able to change him or I might be able to change her. That is the lie of the devil. Why? The Bible says clearly that we have power over demons. We have power over the dark world. But there's nowhere written in the Bible that we have power over human spirits. And so you cannot change a human being. When you see someone's true colors, there are things that they were not showing you before this friendship transitioned into a relationship. But right now, they are showing them. And some of them are things that you can't deal with because as a human being, you know yourself. You know things that you can handle and things that you cannot handle. So when God shows you exact things that you cannot handle in a person, then it is time to move. Do not ignore someone's real colors, things that you cannot tolerate. Do not ignore them. The second sign that you need to look out for is when you can't believe, you know, you can't agree on certain belief systems. You see, when you are going into a serious relationship, you need to talk about finances, the way you are going to handle them, who is going to take care of what, who is going to you know, pay for what, and who is not going to pay for what. And there are people who go into relationships, even with children. And so you need to agree how you are going to handle your finances. You need to agree you know what vision is there for this family at what point do you want to build a house in the village at what point do you want to buy a house is it through credit or cash is that is it a house that you want fast or a car that you want fast so these things cause people to collide okay and so when you have you know disagreement in certain important belief systems that will influence your vision for the future then you need to stop it 
this is the time to walk away in a very peaceful manner because God has shown you clearly that you need to stop it. You need not to death them. You need not to continue with this relationship because where it is going, it is going to be messy. It is going to be noisy, noisy and you're not going to like it. So when you realize that you disagree on things that are very important for the sake of the relationship or for the sake of the future of your marriage, then that is clearly a sign for you not to date someone. Do not think that they will change later. No, they will not change later. People just improve, but they don't change. So if they say they don't like that, you know, they might, you know, just improve a bit on ex the exact thing that they don't like, okay? So don't think that you, if you don't agree on, fi on the way you're going to handle your finances now, then you will agree later. Later things are going to get worse. People are going to lose jobs. People are going to get better jobs and become proud. So please, that is an exact sign that God is telling you not to date someone because two cannot walk together unless they agree. The third point that you need to look out for is bad reputation, okay? So, your, you know, the family members of this person that you're dating know them better than you do, okay? If it is a guy and you go visiting him, what neighbors say, okay, is of great importance to you because they have lived together with him or they have lived together with her and they know him better. They know people who visit him. They know the last girl that visited him and he beat up seriously. They know whether he's been involved in murder cases or what. What kind of a job exactly they do because there are people who have been lied to. There are people who have been told that, you know what, I am a doctor. And then later they realize, no, this person is not a doctor. Or someone may say, I am a businessman. And then later you realize, no, he was not even a businessman. He was a drug dealer. So make sure you don't take for granted what people around you tell you about the person. And even how they look at her or how they look at him, how they treat him. You know how he treats people around him should actually tell you the kind of person he or she is because if this person for example can assault um a cashier in the supermarket what makes you think on his bad day he cannot assault you he will assault you also if this person can di disconnect a call for his mom or her mom what makes you think such a lady will not disconnect your call when you are having, you know, issues to discuss and maybe he or she is annoyed, okay? So please do not ignore what other people say. People who are around this person, the way he, he or she handles people around him, what the relatives say or how they treat him or her, please take note of those because they know you better, even your parents. You know, their perception of the, or even your own parents, their perception of the person you are in a relationship with should not be taken for granted, okay? Because they are your second eye. When you are in a relationship, and mostly these days, everybody is in a sexual relationship, emotions are involved, so you can't see other things that your parents and your friends can see. So don't take what your parents and friends say for granted because they are your second eye. They see what you don't see because you are operating based on your emotion. The last sign that you need to look out for, I said as I was beginning this video, is check out for what the Holy Spirit is saying. And the Holy Spirit is accompanied with peace. And the Bible says the kind of peace that Jesus gives is different from the world okay so at times you can't be in you can't be in a relationship with someone who everybody looks at you and feel like you know what no this is not but when god gives you peace then god has given you a go ahead to go on with the relationship and marry that person and get married to that person 
so please be attentive to the voice of the holy spirit and that attention is cultivated if you have not been listening to the holy spirit you've been disregarding his voice in several issues in your life chances are you might as well not hear him speak about the relationship that you are in right now okay and so if you don't have the holy spirit you can still ask god to give you i have done several i think two videos now on how to be filled with the holy spirit you can check them on my channel but one if you have the holy spirit if you have him in you then he will you know be attentive in your conscience in the way you feel and if you feel ish ish you don't feel comfortable with someone and you feel like you're not so sure the holy spirit is not giving you peace about somebody then please please just let it go it is a full sign that god is telling you not to date someone not to go on with that relationship because if god approves it then it has to be accompanied by peace remember god is the creator of marriage okay so there's no way you're going to you know go into a marriage that was created by god without his permission all right so if he doesn't give you peace then let it go all right so i hope you have benefited from this video if you have you know you are in a serious relationship and you are kind of not sure whether god approves it or not then this is your video right so the lord bless you so much i hope to see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe you can also follow me on my social media platforms on instagram i'm called human of faith on facebook i'm called princess mschana waimani and you can check me out on my social media platforms you can dm me in case you have any questions you can make me your elder sister and we can talk about issues that you cannot share with anyone and i will you know create time for you i will pray together with you at the end of the day the name of the lord shall be praised all right so the lord bless you see you again next time goodbye Faith comes by, hearing the word of God, hearing comes by, listening to the word of God, I pray you get faith the size of a mustard seed.